with Southern Angel Stamping. Welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing my paper pumpkin and this is the paper pumpkin uh, called Summer Nights and it's the July kit. And I have been so busy with everything that I know I'm very late. I've already got the other paper pumpkin, um, the August paper pumpkin in so I've got to start working with that but I wanted to show you this and I have I had gotten late working with this kit um, I didn't get to do an unboxing or anything to show you any of the supplies or anything but just real quickly this is what um, you could make with the kit some of the cards and um, this kit was actually uh, to make invitations and like these little bags and I really didn't make these I did just alternatives like I normally do but um, it's really cute supplies in here and it showed you how to make a few alternatives. You can even make a, a little candy bag here. It shows you. Um, I didn't even get a chance to do anything like that. Uh, I did use a couple of the bags, which you'll see uh, from my cards. But here it shows you. You could also have gotten uh, an extra card set. And I don't know if they still have those or not. Uh, cards and envelopes that were really pretty and I didn't do that because I knew I wasn't going to have a chance to really do a lot with this kit uh, because of my daughter's wedding I was just so busy during July but the stamps you can see how well I used them though and then um, they're really nice which this is how I stamped them out I put what they are and then the month of the kit there the name of it and all and um, the uh, stamps are it says oh summer nights are all alight with everything magic and bright RSVP where when little thing there there's a line here you light up my life you're invited it's a party little um, lightning bug here firework or sparkler a little thing there and uh, the little light the little light for the lightning bug and a little jar the color ink spot was blackberry bliss um, and then I had a few that's actually where I traced one but I had a few of these left over so I, I can use those later these are the pieces I had left. Quite a, quite a few of these little pieces. The really cute little die cuts. I think, yeah, I only used, this sheet's almost gone. And I only used two of the, um, what do you call merry-go-rounds there? I thought these little uh, jars were cute and these vellum jars were really cute I only got two of those left and these were the cards envelopes these are the envelopes okay so technically you were supposed to use them and then just put them in make the cards on this and then put them in there like this if you're making invitation okay or a card however it's like a party invitation or something you put it in there just like that well I didn't do that of course I use this as like a designer series paper which I think a lot of people did so I had two of those one envelope I used these as stencils as you can see 
that was pretty cool. Here's where I stamped out some I was going to use, and I never did get a chance to use. And here's a few of the bags left. So I got, okay, I got three bags left, but I had more. That's just the bags where I cut them. Wow, I actually did use quite a few of the bags, so I got three bags left. Okay, so that's everything I actually had left. Now that I've got that out of the way. I can't wait to show y'all. Y'all stay tuned um, and make sure, if you're not a subscriber yet, please make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell. And when you click it, make sure you click it to where it says all notifications so that you will be notified by YouTube, okay? Because they've done a lot of changes and you know, please make sure that you are liking the video, you're commenting on the video, you're, um, uh, you know, and it'd be good to, uh, if you could share the video, you, you just need to correspond in with my videos so that YouTube knows that you do like to watch my videos. And that way they also, you'll get more notifications on my videos when I post. Um, I have been finding that more and more about this because they've just done a lot of changes. envelopes as you can see and this one is pretty much like showed right here on there except I put a whole different uh, thing on my tag I didn't use the their stamp all right but I did go ahead and do the do their layout but I put thoughts for you uh, friend and then I use some sequins and then I put whatever whenever I'm here for you and I did the little stamping inside and this so it came from this well said thoughts for you friend came from well said it's a two two part stamp set this is where it came from. And then the inside. Whatever, whenever, I'm here for you. So this is a new stamp set that you can get. And uh, I will have this uh, down below for you listed if you are interested in purchasing that with the number. Oh, and my new host code. I'm so sorry. My new host code. I will also put that up for you. I'll place it up here on the screen. It's been so long since I've done a video, y'all. I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm just lost right now. <laughs> I've got to get back in the swing of things, don't I? Oh, my goodness. Okay next card this is an envelope that was left over from one of the other paper pumpkin kits I can't remember which one it's got the gold here was it the last kit or I can't remember I'm always got leftover pieces of kits and then I like to mix and match kits together you'll let me know do y'all do that any of y'all that's got that are in paper pumpkin that watch this let me know do y'all ever mix your kits and I did use the stamp set of oh, the summer nights are all a rot all a light with everything magic and bright and I put the um, merry-go-round some stars this is pretty much like what they did actually on here too except I changed it up by putting um, it on a card base I used the petal pink and then the petal pink um, ribbon I just thought that looked really good together and then like I said I decorated the um, this envelope and I liked it because it had the gold to match I just thought it matched and then um, use some 
gold embossing with those little star looking things from the stamp. Now I've bossed those. Oh, and inside. I'm sorry, I forgot to show you inside. I put happy birthday on a tag and put that in there. And then this stamp, uh, it came from a kit in color. That's right. It was the little thingy there. It looks like um, confetti to me. Um, okay, this is another one that's pretty much like what they did. I decorated the envelope. Okay. I love decorating my envelopes. I really do. Um, this is like what they did right here, but I changed mine up, of course. Um, they've got, what they got? It's a party, you're invited. Of course, I put mine on a card base. And I put, you light up my life. I put some twine there. And I put some of that sequins there. And inside, I put sending hugs. Okay, and the sending hugs came from, lots to celebrate, came from this stamp set right here. Okay, isn't that cute? I love this. I used this a couple of times. Alrighty. So yeah, even though I used their design on these, I just, I had to change my, make them my own. My own here. I like this card. I really like this one. Decorated the card or the envelope right there a little bit. And then on this card, you can see it almost looks like a shaker. I really spent some time making this actually. A little bit too much time probably. But I really liked the way it turned out. I thought it was really cute. Alright, so there's my card base and I got one of these um, card fronts using as a D DSP and uh, this right here I used for a tag and I cut it out the shape of the tags that came and this is from last year one of the last year's um, paper pumpkins and I'm trying to remember which one it was because offhand I cannot remember. It was either it was either um, a little I think it was a little smile. I think it was that June kit of last year. Anyway, I got the June kit of last year and. The stamp side of it because it had seashells and I just thought this looked like a beach scene that's why I did this so I was trying to get that I got part of another one of the um, backgrounds it's a piece of I don't know if I've got it. it's a piece of one of those other backgrounds is what it is. it's from one of those little bitty cards that I stuck in there because it looked like the beach. And I don't know if I got another one. This is what the envelope looked like that I cut that from. Okay. If anybody remembers that kit, y'all comment down below. These are like the little cards right here. Oh, wait a minute. Here's one. This was the one I used right there. And I cut it out into a little wavy thing to make it look like sand and a little bit of water there. And then there was another stamp I had that was like textured. There's another stamp. I think it was this one. Yeah, it's from the Shelly kit. I told you I mix all my things. Uh, from the Shelly kit, this little textured, it looks kind of like sand or something. So I used it, a lot of texture, just stamped it with... Um, one of my inks and um, got a lot of texture going even down in the blue part and that water part to give it good texture 
And then I got the, I uh, said so I did the feather, I did the shell on this one, I did the starfish, I did the sand dollar, and I even did the seaweed. Stamped them, colored them, and cut them all out and got them under this jar, everything there. And if you noticed, it looks like it's actually dipped down into the sand there. And I did that because I cut it twice. So it looked like it is actually stuck into the sand. Okay. And then I just glued the jar on top. And yeah, it almost looks like a shaker, but it's not a shaker. So I thought that turned out kind of cool. And then put a few stars and then this twine. And I kind of shredded the ends of it because I thought it looked cool like that. And this twine, is I still have it. You can't get that twine anymore, and I'm sorry. Gosh, I wish they still had it. But I still have a big old spool of it left. I'm gonna keep using it until it's gone. And inside, I did a happy birthday from one of the uh, paper pumpkins I used. And then stamp, oh, I used this. I stamped this little jar, okay, and I used this with the little stars and I colored it using my watercolor pencils and I tell you what if you don't have these watercolor pencils get you a pack of these they're not that expensive and they work great you can use them dry you can use them wet and I tell you what how I used them I got this with a pack of these you get three in a pack so you don't have to use the watercolor brush or you can get the watercolor brush if you want but i like using the little blender pen instead because it just doesn't put all that water out and make your paper peel but that right there that works now they got two different packs of these watercolor pencils these are the um, colors right here with all the colors. I want to get the next pack too. I tell you what, I really like those. That was in one of my hauls recently. Okay, this one I stuck in just one of these. These are those clear envelopes that we have with Stampin' Up. And this is just to celebrate summer nights. And I got that from the um, big stamp. I just put colored in the summer nights. That's all I did. And stamped it. Okay. And then just stamped that. I didn't really stamp nothing inside. Just to celebrate summer nights. And then I could put like happy birthday or something like that. Whatever I want. So I didn't really stamp nothing inside yet. Like... Here's another one. It's all red, white, and blue. Got fireworks all over the envelope. And um, got red, white, and blue fireworks, the stars. It says, oh, the summer nights. Got, I made this twine, red, white, and blue twine with the um, alcohol markers. Open it up and it says, let's celebrate got fireworks all over so that could be a birthday or fourth of july card whatever you want it to be this was a cute little birthday card i liked it so i got the little lanterns there glowing and the little lanterns there glowing it's a cute little birthday card with the little lanterns glowing Let's get that spit out here and some sequins and then inside it says let's celebrate with another little lantern I think I need some water so this one's a little bit smaller it's more almost like the size of a note card I think yeah but I think it's a cute little card Oh, and I really liked this card. Really do like it the way it turned out. I thought it was pretty. Y'all can let me know what you think. 
I think the colors are great. So this one, and I like the way this came out too. The jar, it kind of looks like a, almost like a shaker again, but it's not. And uh, that's kind of what I was going for, is to look like it was almost a shaker. I put the Ferris wheel, I cut it, had the Ferris wheel behind the roller coaster and everything. Put a couple of sequins, the stars inside, as if they were being shook. And uh, put some twine, I made this twine. And um, I put a little tag and embossed it, it says smile. And then of course I stamped all this to make it look like DSP on there. And I just, I really thought this was pretty. This is that um, petal pink cardstock. And I, I just love the colors together. And inside it says, let's cheer you up. Here's the next one. Again, decorated the envelope, both sides. This one says, oh, summer nights. Another one with a jar. I had fun with these jars apparently and um, I put some of the bugs in there made them look like they were glowing with that stamp um, and then uh, I used the punch out bugs on this one uh, a couple of the stars here a piece of my homemade twine that I colored in and uh, this was um, I did the circles uh, die cuts here and then I put let's celebrate and then stamped inside and y'all please please make sure you comment let me know what you think these cards to tell me which one you like the best again decorated the envelope and this one ended up being a I got two out of one, two out of one, does that make sense? hope so, um, which I'll show you in just a minute, because here's the second one. So I punched a circle, or not punched, die cut a circle, okay, and, oh, wait a minute, that's the wrong one, here's the second part of it, I die cut a circle. Put a piece of gold behind one of those little bags and put that behind the circle. And then I stamped and embossed, made it look like fireworks, and I put let's celebrate, little twine there again. And then I put birthday wishes inside. I put some of those little stars in there. Those are the die cut stars. And then for the second one, with the circle that I cut out, I'll go ahead and show you with them laying next to each other. And this is also decorated with the bugs. The circle that was uh, cut out, I used on this card. So see, it came out of there and I used it on this card. And this was a birthday card as well. And then I used some of the stamping the fireworks and some sequins and some little fireflies even used a piece of uh it's this polka dot tool ribbon but i colored it and i tell you what that was took a little time to actually color it because it was tool <laughs> It, if it had been actual white ribbon, it would have been a little easier. But I got it colored to where you could see it. And then inside it says celebrate and it's all stamped. So I liked that. That was pretty cool to get a twofer out of that. Okay, and just a couple more cards. So here's the envelope. As you know, some of these envelopes are not the paper pumpkin envelopes. Some of these envelopes I just had and used. Up. But I embossed these little stars here. 
and these little stars I actually was using these little stars here if you're wondering and then I also colored the inside of them in with um, well I couldn't find my Wink of Stella so I just used this little jelly roll inside there but the Wink of Stella would have been great to use so okay let's celebrate I used and then I used that jelly roll inside which, uh, if you had, like I said, a Wink of Stella something, uh, Stampin' Up! does have the Wink of Stella. That would have been great. You could use that. I couldn't find my Wink of Stella at the time, so I just used that jelly roll. And then same thing with the inside, and it says Happy Birthday. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a... Um, uh, tutorial too where you can use the uh, refillable though uh, I'm, where I did this um, use this and I put it in like a little dish like this and dropped it in there and dropped some the oh I just can't talk where I dropped a little piece of the twine in there and then drop the uh, ink, or ink in there and colored it that way so you can do it that way I uh, just suggest you wear gloves because it will get all over you so I'm pretty sure I got that on a in my playlist for stamping up so you can check that out um, I'll link that above in my cards up here and you can watch that if you'd like I stamped again this cute little card or envelope and then made this card and this one says hello designer series paper if you don't know what DSP stands for put some twine behind this tag oh and this tag right here if you don't know where that came from, I used something new that I got. I've been, I wanted to try it out. And it was this one right here, that small, the smallest one. And I think it's so pretty. I can't wait to use more of these. And this came from, this is the Celebration Labels Dies. And it came with, it's in a bundle. Yeah, it came with that. You can get, you can get just the Celebration Label dies, but you save 10% when you get it as a bundle. So you get Celebration Tidings and dies in a bundle and save 10%. So that's a really good deal if you get them together. But I love these dies. They're so cute. You can do a lot with those beautiful dies. And the stamps are nice too. You have all your little holidays and just for you and Christmas and then it's got cute little design there and right there so always grateful yeah it's got a lot in there so I like that so anyway that's what I used to make the front of that card um, the hello I made a tag using my oh my new punch my little banner pick a punch love this love this punch Got, there's two punches, I'll tell you what. If you could only have pick one or two punches, this one right here, I'd say get this punch. This one and this one right here. Lovely label, pick a punch. So these two punches right here, I would say, these are the two punches you should get 
if you could only get two punches because you could do so much with these to start off with. That's what I would recommend for a beginner, someone just starting out. Okay, and inside it says, wishing you a happy birthday. And I stamped a little thing in there. And it's kind of glittered up. And I think, what did I stamp with in there? Oh, I used, because I know I used a different stamp set. That's right, I used this wishing you I wish for everything, and it's a two-part stamp set, so it comes together, and you see how much you get. So it's got the innies and the outies. The hello came from Life is Beautiful. That's a new one, too. So you see how you can mix all your stamp sets together? Okay. And this is the last one. Okay, there's an envelope. This this one's actually a little larger, as you can see. This bigger size card. And it's a birthday card. Got the jar with the little bugs flying out of it. And I actually made this DSP right here. So it was very easy to make with the inks. Um, put some of the stars there. Now the one, I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but the one behind the jar, that was just a leftover piece that was, that came with the kit. So I just cut it to the size of the jar. And then, like I said, I made my own to fit this card. And that was, that was a lot of fun. This is from the kit, and I just kind of used some ink to go over it. I went around the edges, and then I got another color and just kind of went over the top of it. Okay. Use some of that twine again that I like, that I wish they still had. And then there's inside, celebrating another year of happiness and put a couple of the little bugs. And again, I used that well said for that one. Okay. So there you can see I did quite a few, quite a few, a lot <laughs> of cards here. A lot of cards. I'm probably not even gonna get them all in here. So y'all tell me which ones y'all liked. favorite. I'd like to know which ones y'all think are the prettiest. And I'm going to get started on our new paper pumpkin and talking about the one that's coming out soon. If you are not a paper pumpkin subscriber, I would love it if you would subscribe and subscribe through me. I think y'all would really enjoy the paper pumpkin. So if you would want to get started with paper pumpkin, just get in touch with me and I can help you do that. Uh, you get all your supplies right here in a box. Like I said, it comes really cute in a little box, just like this, or sometimes they come, you know, in a decorative box. 
uh, but everything comes neatly wrapped in tissue paper and uh, you get your ink spot you get all your supplies that you need everything everything's in here in your first kit you will get a, a block something like this you'll hang on to that so you'll always have it to use with your stamps and um, you'll have everything you won't want to miss our next paper pumpkin kit called Hello Pumpkin, so be sure to order by September the 10th. If you want anything extra to go with your kit, then you order it through me. But yeah, there are a lot of fun. You see how many cards you can make with just a little extra supplies. And um, so I think you would really enjoy them. You can um, make other projects too besides just cards if you're not interested in cards it doesn't have to be just cards you can scrapbook with it you can do planning projects with it you can make uh little boxes with them you can do just about anything that you can make with paper so anyway so i just wanted to share with you the cards that i made with this kit and if you'll keep watching coming up next in the next video you'll see the um, new kit that I got and what I'll be doing with it and I hope y'all have a blessed day keep watching for more videos and I'll see you again soon thanks for watching Bye.